Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good day so far. We had ended up with several sales to go to. I think I had four on my list, and it was two houses on one street and multiple families. Well, they were mostly really bad. We got one or two things at a couple of them, and then... We came across a church sale that had not advertised, so we got a big part of the things there at that church sale. So it was worth going, and we enjoy going, so that's all that matters. It's uh, 56 degrees right now, which I don't mind putting a coat on after all this hot weather we've had. And as you can see, after I emptied the box, Mr. Baby Boy Cat the star of the videos, he has been in the box. He's taking a bath now. <laughs> well, let's get started. Over here, this was one of the first things we bought. It's a pen and ink and watercolor, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I don't know whether you can see this. It says, Johnson... 2013 and it's called Granny's Pride. All of Granny's quilts. There's the old metal chair and Granny's cane and there lays the little beagle and the old bench with the flowers and the birdhouse on a pole and the wonderful old house. That was five dollars. I just thought it was beautiful and I'll use that in the springtime. Then at that same sale, the only other thing we got was I got this little gingerbread ornament for my gingerbread display at Christmas, and I think that was a quarter. That was at that sale. Oh, one more thing we got right big in front of me. I forgot about it. We got this light-up triple-deck pumpkin. He was $5. So those three things we got at that sale. Everything else came from the church sale. So I'll start right here in the back. Look at this gorgeous old frame. It was $3. This was at the church sale. And this is called An Alchemist in His Study. This was published by the Fisher Scientific Company in the interest of science in America. It was from a... 1600s painting would have been the original um, art and this was the company that printed this this was before zip codes because there was no zip code on the name tag on the back but how appropriate for Halloween just look at all the chemist things he works with <laughs> So I'm going to use this for Halloween. And $3 was a great price for a, a vintage picture. The frame was worth more than that, even if you didn't like the print. Then I got this ironstone bowl with the handles. It probably had a lid. It didn't have it, but it was only $1. So I couldn't pass that up. It would be pretty to put something in it, whether it be greens, floral, Christmas time, you could put Christmas balls, just so much pumpkins now, just so much you can do with it. And here's my helper up on the table. Then I got, this is Watkins, this beautiful shaped Watkins bottle or jar for a dollar. I got this old sugar and creamer. They're made in Japan. That was $2 for the pair. It's windy, and, and it's actually kind of cold out here with the wind. <laughs> there went my jar with his tail. You know, tails can be dangerous. And then I also got this Lori Mitchell for $0.25. Cent. Her belt bow has been broke off in the back, and she probably had something in her hands. But for a quarter, I couldn't go wrong for a Lori Mitchell. Then for 25 cents, I got this little restaurant ware. This is sterling. 
no, Syracuse. Syracuse by Libby. And then I got another pig cutting board for $2. So I have three of them now. And then I got this awesome ironstone plate for $1. And this is J&G Meek and Sterling. I'm trying to get it where it's not so blurred. English ironstone. And it, then it's stamped England. So I was happy to get that because, like I said, I don't find ironstone too often. And a dollar was a great price. So this is all of our Saturday yard sale finds. But we're happy we found anything. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's going to be cool, but that's okay. And we got a hard little rain that started sometime during the night, and it was still raining at 6.15 this morning, and we were so afraid that there wasn't going to be any sales. Of course, the sales we went to, it might as well have rained them out because they were bad except for the first one. But the church sale saved us, so I uh, hope y'all have good weather and a good day. This is the time of year that there's a lot of autumn things going on in the pumpkin patches and things like that. So take time and enjoy something. Enjoy every moment. Take advantage of the cooler weather if you're blessed with the cooler weather like we are now. So love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. And probably, I don't know whether I'll get to it today or not, but if I don't, tomorrow I'll do my back deck and the patio and the surrounding flowers there. And then I'll continue on inside. And please make sure you put it on your calendar. I'm taking part in a collaboration hosted by Antoinette Decorating. And the ones that are participating in it right now is, of course, Antoinette at Antoinette Decorating, me, um, Marlene and Kathy at Buffalo Check Chicks, and Joanne at The Curated Home. So I hope you will enjoy those tours. I think they're going to be wonderful. It's Halloween tours. Most of them might be doing a complete home tour, but you know me, I have to do them one at a time, one room at a time, because we have so much for you to see. So as I said, I'm saving the family room for that tour, and there's a lot to see down there, as y'all know. So love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy who has taken off somewhere to visit the neighbors. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time, bye-bye.